In this tutorial, we're going to talk a bit about something called scope. So let's get started by closing our methods.java file, right-clicking the default package, selecting new, and class. For the class name, I'm going to type scope, and click finish. Let's go ahead and create our main method as usual. Type the word main, press control spacebar, and hit enter. Now that you hopefully have a little experience with methods, it's important to understand how where you declare your variables affects where you can use them. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new method after main. I'm going to type static void do something, parentheses, open curly brace, enter. Now every method, including the main method, can have what are called local variables. And as the name implies, this means that the variables are local to the method in which they were declared. What that means is that you can't access variables declared in a method from any other methods. So for example, if we were to declare and initialize a variable called x in main, there is no way that our method do something can access that data. If we were to try and say x equals 10, Eclipse will tell us something's wrong and says x cannot be resolved to a variable. And what that essentially means is that the variable x is not in scope when this method runs. But what if that's not what we wanted? What if we wanted multiple methods to work with the same data without passing it around into the methods? Well, there's a way to do that, and what we have to do is to declare the variable outside of the methods. This is usually done at the very top of the class. I'm going to go up to the curly brace after public class scope and hit enter a couple times. So now we're above the main method, we're outside of any methods, and I'm going to type static int x. Now we have a variable called x that is declared outside of any methods. And what that allows us to do is to use it inside of any methods. So if we take the int x off of this x, now when main runs, x will be assigned the value 5. And now when do something runs, x will be assigned the value 10. So to demonstrate that, let's do our system out, type syso, press control spacebar, and have it print out x. Then we'll call our do something method and once again we'll print out x. Just go ahead and copy paste that line and let's run it. And as we'll see, 5 is printed out and then 10 is printed out. Let's put a comment on our variable declaration to remind us of how that works. So I'm going to say because x is declared outside of any method, it is in scope to all methods. In other words, any method can access x. I'm going to go down after our do something method and create a new method called static void do something locally. Parentheses, opening curly brace, enter. Now I'm going to declare another variable, let's say int y equals 100. I'm going to put a comment on this one as well. I'll say, because y is declared inside of this method, it is local to this method. In other words, no other method has access to y. Now inside of this method we can do anything we want with y, but once this method finishes executing, y essentially ceases to exist. In other words, not only can y only be accessed inside of our do something locally method after it is declared, but it doesn't even exist after that method is finished executing. Now eventually in these tutorials we'll get to a point where we talk about something called stack frames and look at how memory is allocated when you call a method, and you'll understand this much more. But for now, just understand that 
there are variables that are declared outside of methods that can be used throughout the entire class, and there are variables that you can declare inside of methods that are said to be local to that method. You want to be sure you understand the difference between declaring a variable and accessing a variable as well. So on this line we are declaring the variable x, and on this line we are assigning a value to x. And we're also doing the same thing in our do something method. And in our do something locally method, we are declaring and initializing the variable y. So all that matters when we talk about scope is where the variable is declared. Here, x is declared outside of any method, and here, y is declared inside of the do something locally method. I think that's about everything I want to say about scope for now, but one last thing is when you see a variable declared in this way, where it says static type variable, and it is outside of any method, those are referred to as class variables, whereas variables declared inside of a method are, once again, local variables. Thanks for watching.